Today, we're talking about one of my great passions in life, dog food puzzles. Food puzzles are toys that your dog manipulates in some way to get their food to fall out. Food puzzles are amazing because your dog gets to use their brain in a way that they don't normally get to and have some extra fun. And it takes virtually no extra effort for you beyond what you already do to give them their meals. I think that pretty much all dogs could benefit from eating their breakfast and their dinner from food puzzles every day. In terms of giving your dog a more enriched life, there is nothing else you can do that makes such a great improvement with so little effort on your end. Hi everybody, I'm Lindsay and welcome to Hazel Dog. This video is a quick primer for anyone who's unfamiliar with food puzzles to help them get started. We created it as a companion to our food puzzle review series. So once you finish this video, if you're psyched about food puzzles like I am, you can check out those reviews to get ideas on which puzzles might be best to buy for you and your dog. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the who, what, where, when, why, and how of food puzzles. We'll start with what. So what are food puzzles? Like I mentioned before, food puzzles are toys that dispense food or treats of some kind to your dog. They come in all different shapes, sizes, ability levels, and mechanisms of how they work. Today, we're focusing on the ones that you can use to feed your dogs their meals because I think they're the easiest to introduce into your lifestyle. The main types of food puzzles are, you have slow bowls, which are actually usually marketed to stop dogs from eating their food too fast. The more intricate slow bowls make great puzzle feeders, and they're particularly good for dogs who have supplements or who have water or wet food mixed in with their kibble because other puzzles aren't great for that type of thing. Then you have moving puzzles. The dog is supposed to roll these or move them in some way to get kibble to fall out. Next, we have stationary puzzles. These are supposed to stay in one place while the dog manipulates different pieces of the toy to get food out. But we find that when we use them with real dogs, most dogs just flip them over unless you're standing there and holding it still. So in general, we're not big fans of these toys. And lastly, we've got stuffable toys. You're probably familiar with Kong, which is the classic stuffable toy, but there are all different types. You wedge, smear, or freeze something inside the puzzle, and then your dog has to lick, chew, and bop the toy around to get it out. So you're probably wondering why you would bother feeding from food puzzles. Food puzzles are much more fun for your dog and they're no more extra work for you. So for basically the same amount of effort that you put in to feed them their meals anyways, your dog is gonna get somewhere between 10 minutes and an hour of extra fun every day. So for owners like you who are out there looking for ways to give their dog a good life, it's a super easy win. Second, it's a way for your dog to use his brain. Dogs are scavengers by evolution, so they're wired to enjoy problem solving to get food. And even if it seems like the problem solving might get frustrating for them at times, it's more like the frustration you get when you're solving a crossword puzzle. So it's still really an overall positive and satisfying experience for them. By allowing your dog to use his brain, he'll get mentally tired, which means you'll be less reliant on physical activity to tire him out each day. And that also means he'll have less mental energy to spend chewing on your furniture or barking at your neighbors. Food puzzles are a great way to keep your dog out of trouble. If there are times when you need to keep them occupied or keep them from being underfoot, food puzzles are a great way to do that. And lastly, it can help reduce your guilt. There just are times in life with a dog where they want to interact or have fun with you and you just can't for whatever reason. So giving them a food puzzle is a great way to give them something fun to do in a way to entertain themselves where you don't feel like you're letting them down. Okay, now let's look into who food puzzles are good for. The short answer is pretty much every dog. Food puzzles are good for puppies and they're good for older dogs. They're good for active dogs and mellow dogs. They're good for playful dogs and shy dogs. Um, unless your dog has some really specific dietary restrictions, food puzzles are probably good for them. In terms of humans, food puzzles are good for people who are away a lot and wanna give their dog something to do. They're also good for people who are home a lot and sometimes need to keep their dog quiet. They're good for people who feel like their dogs need more activities in their lives, or they're good for people who just want their dog to have the most enriched life they can give them. Basically, if you wanna give your dog a happy and enriched life, food puzzles are a great way to do that. So when should you use food puzzles? For every meal. Food puzzles are quick and easy to use, so there's no reason not to start using them for your dog's breakfast and dinner. 
If your dog free feeds or only eats once a day and you want to use food puzzles, check with your vet to see if you could switch your dog to eating twice a day to give them a little bit more benefit. You can also try to time when you give your dog their food puzzle to get the ma maximum benefit for yourself. So if you could use some more space in the morning when you shower and get ready for work, maybe your dog can work on their food puzzle at that time. Or same thing if you want to keep them from bothering you while you cook dinner. You can adjust your dog's meal times a little bit to give yourself that occasional break that you deserve. So do you want to know how to best use food puzzles? Um, our first tip is to make it easy for you. Choose puzzles that are easy for you to fill and easy for you to clean and work within your lifestyle so it doesn't feel like a chore for you to use them. You also want to make sure you're using food puzzles in a way that is safe for everyone in your household. So if your dog might ever guard their food or toys, make sure they have their own private space away from human and animal family members to work on their puzzle. And then always pick up the puzzles once your dog is done with them so there aren't any conflicts later in the day. You want to make sure you're setting your dog up to succeed when you first start using food puzzles. So even if they're a genius, you should give them a puzzle that's relatively easy so they have success and build independence and confidence when it comes to puzzle solving. Stuffable toys like this topple here um, or slow bowls like this fun feeder work great as first puzzles. They should be able to solve their first puzzle with very minimal help from you so they feel really good about the problem solving process and continue to do it on their own. So food puzzles are clever devices that allow your dog to use their brain to get more enjoyment from their meals. They give your dog an independent problem to work on so you can have a little bit more freedom and take a break from your dog when you need it. Switching to puzzle feeding is hands down the easiest way you can give your dog more enrichment in their life. Thanks so much for following along with me as I explain food puzzles today. As you might be able to tell, I'm a little obsessed with them and I hope you caught the bug too. If you are intrigued, check out the other videos in this series to get an idea of puzzles that might be good for you and your dog. If you don't have a budget for food puzzles, I also included a link in the video description so you can see a few DIY food puzzle options. Thanks again for watching Hazel Dog and for subscribing to our channel. I hope I see you again soon.